Hey you guys, I hope this finds you doing absolutely awesome. Hey, as promised, this is a video, kind of is kind of turning into a series off of a video that I did called How Do I Fix a Difficult Relationship? It's about Abby and her destructive boyfriend. Um, so uh, this one actually came from a guy, his name is Drew, and Drew has a not so nice girlfriend and he's got some questions about that, okay? So they have been dating about six months, but about around the two month mark, she started really getting kind of mean and she would uh, take out her bad mood on him. She would get mad because uh, he wasn't reading her mind. Uh, okay. Um, girls have a tendency to do that, by the way. Um, and he was, she would have like really weird out of bounds expectations for him. So um, like she wanted him to pay for her makeup. Weird things like that. And then if he'd be like, huh, she would blow up. And it just kind of got, got progressively worse. So Drew, that right there at the two month mark, so people that are kind of in this area right here, that was mistake number one. Um, that is the time that you wanna say to somebody, hey listen, I don't like it that you treat me like that. It is not okay for you to blow up at me. It's not okay for you to expect me to read your mind or whatever it is. It is the time to kind of just go, kind of push back a little bit and just say, mm -mm, do not treat me that way, okay? So let's progress. Um, the day before Drew wrote in was like game changer for him. It was like the last straw, okay? So Drew and his girlfriend are out with some friends and um, they're young adults, so they were at like a sports bar. And uh, Drew's girlfriend was up at the bar and uh, a guy came up and she starts flirting with him and he actually, put his hand way up on her thigh. And she even had a skirt on, so it should have been even that much more uncomfortable for her. She didn't move his hand. Instead, she put her, her hand on his hand and kept flirting. So, Drew doesn't cause a scene, good job, walks up to her and says, um, are you ready to go? And she pulls the rolling of the eyes and the oh, thing and then walks with him to the door. <sighs> uh -oh. Anyway, so they get outside and he says to her, do you not think it's like a little disrespectful to me for you to behave that way with another guy at all, much less when I'm sitting right there to see it? Well, instead of her saying, yeah, I screwed up, that was terrible, I'm so sorry. Oh, no, no, no. She blows up, starts calling him every name in the book, things I will definitely not repeat. I will not put them on my blog, but I'm grateful that Drew was honest about it. Well, then she punches him in the face. Who does that? Like, what? So I was like, wow, this girl needs the psych ward. But Drew's question to me was, what did I do wrong? True, you didn't do anything wrong. Some people are just whacked. You know, she's obviously out of control. So out of control people are usually kind of heading down the road to destruction, right? And she's just gonna take everyone down with her. Now, this is a really important thing to grasp, okay? It is not your job to help her get help. It is not your job to help her. You are not her therapist, okay? You are not married to her. Even if you were married, it is not okay. It is not okay to hit somebody, ever. The second somebody lays their hands on you, it is game over. I would even posture to say, especially since you're dating, that um, her up there with this guy's hand on her thigh and she's like flirting and acting like that, that would have been game over for me. Like if a guy did that, I'd be like, <laughs> yeah, no. Um, mm -mm. so now we always want to talk about things that are bothering us, but those are, those are like, you know, relationship enders, you know, so you didn't do anything wrong. Um, I just want you to know that most girls aren't like that. Um, I would encourage you maybe to sift through my website to see, you know, some things that you could look for, um, like maybe lists of abusive behavior so that you can kind of tell that before you start dating somebody or pick it up really quickly, um, early in the relationship. So I hope that helps. Um, 
I have a feeling I'm going to get some emails about this one too. Uh, lots of different scenarios and that's totally cool. So, um, yeah, Drew, I would run and I would block her number as you go. Okay. And, um, no contact. Mutual friends, no, no, no. If they want to talk to you about her, just say, I don't want to talk about it. Okay, no contact. I would just, mm -mm, nothing. No social media, no nothing. You just need to move on with your life without a destructive person in it. Okay, so I hope that that helps. And I will um, also post some videos about finance. You guys notice I have a finance background as well as, well as a nutrition background. And you guys have expressed a little bit of nervousness about what you're going to do after high school or even as a young adult. So I have some ideas about that. So I will post some videos and help you um, maybe have some ideas. Okay, I'll see you all soon. Bye.